another Jeepin' with Cool Guy video. What else have you got to do with your time? Howdy, folks! Welcome to another episode of Jeepin' with Cool Guy. As you can see, I'm pretty far along with the, uh, the restoration of the Golden Eagle here. And I'm getting into the fine-tuning parts. And there's something that I've found that even from the first CJ that I did, the 84, is the most annoying piece I think that you'll probably experience within your restoration, resto mod, whatever it is, set up for your CJ7. And it's this little POS. And there it is, your brake light switch. They put this thing into the brake clutch pedal assembly up above and behind the steering column into a place where it's almost inaccessible to the average person. And I'm going to show you how I was able to get it out. So I had made the mistake of a couple things. First is I reconditioned, rebuilt the uh, brake pedal assembly manual and uh, put this in there and then installed it and then put everything back in underneath dash steering column and so on. And I couldn't figure out what was going on because the brake lights weren't working. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to pull this thing out and test it. Well, that was in itself a really, really difficult process. You'll need two things to get this brake switch out. How it's installed is it just has a whole bunch of circular grooves around. It looks like it's threaded. It's inserted into a pronged hole so that when the brake pedal is released and it pushes the plunger back in, this thing doesn't pop out. You know, that's all nice and good, but it's really hard to get these things back out. So you'll need a nice long shafted screwdriver, like about that long, so that you can get up underneath there and pop off the prongs for the wire harness. Now, the next thing to do is to get and I found this kind of interesting, uh, a set of plug pliers. You know, these are things that you'd pull off your spark plug wires with. You can reach up underneath there, once you get the wire off, put it around the back part of this thing, very much like that, and slowly wriggle it out. It's horrible. It's not fun. This is the way that I was able to do it. it made my life a lot easier. Now, I've tested it out, it's good, so I'm going to put it back in and I'm going to not do it the same way that they did it in the factory. I'm going to do a little bit of a jerry-rigging. Let's check it out. So this is what remains of my wire harness that I haven't hooked up yet. This is the plug that your brake pedal switch, brake light switch, goes into. There's these two prongs, kind of looks like Poseidon's trident. Biden, um, and it just pops in just like that. So this is what you're going to have to wedge off with that long shafted screwdriver so that you can pull this thing out. Putting this in is a challenge in itself, but it's really not as difficult as it is to get back out. The difficult part is putting this back on to this when it's all the way up wedged in behind the steering column in the brake pedal assembly. So what I did was made myself two little extension cords. Just got a couple wire connectors. Uh, I've got the female clip ends that go right to the brake light switch, just like that. They clip in there nice and easy. And then I've got the two male pieces, ends, that go into the brake light switch wire harness, just like this. There, super cool. All right, so now all I have to do is put this blunt, put the uh, switch back up in the, the housing with the lights attached, and then I can just simply connect this piece to those wires let it hang down, may zip tie it to another wire so it doesn't disconnect, and I'm good. How cool is that? 
And then I put a little bit of uh, that shrink wrap over the top of it just to create a waterproof seal around the, the joints just to make sure blah 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 blah. But if you want to test out to see if your brake light switch works, you can pull this thing off, pull it out, whatever it may be, get yourself a voltmeter, connect the red wire to one, black wire to the other, and then put it on the setting to register continuity. When you press in the plunger, there should be no continuity, no connection. But as soon as you release that plunger, you should get the chime. And that means that it is now a closed circuit and your brake lights, the, the voltage goes through here and then onto your brake lights and your brake light bulbs light up. So that's a very easy way to test if this thing is good or not. All right, now that we've gotten all, that all done, let's t test it out and see how it goes. So I'm gonna hook this up real quick. Plug it into my handy dandy wire harness. Check it out, brake lights. And then I'm gonna push in the plunger. They're off. Yeah, super cool. Now, just gonna install it back into the brake pedal and wire this up into the harness and we're good to go. And that is a quick little episode from Jeep with Cool Guy. This is an electrical gremlin problem. And to be a little bit more transparent, I've been going, the past week, I've been trying to figure out the in-dash wire harness because I, I've got all kinds of electrical problems going on right now. Anyways, I am trying to sleuth through these things, and as I get these things figured out, I will put videos out on it. Uh, I don't want to give too much of a, a tutorial on electronics, electrical issues within the, the CJ7, because it is so unnecessarily complicated. Like, there's so many different ground lines and power lines and connections, and I'm not an electrician by any means, and I'm trying to figure this out as I go. So as for right now, I've got this whole thing wired up, ready to go. I just want to turn it over, but the brake lights was the last thing. And um, there's some other things that I have to figure out with, like, the dash lights and the uh, headlight signal. But anyways, with all that, uh, just pay attention to some of the, the videos that will be coming out in the next couple months because they're going to be related a lot to the electrical issues that you're going to run into on these CJ7s as you rebuild them. And you just need to know what needs to be grounded and what needs to be connected to what. So stick with me. Almost done on this one. And then we can move into other subjects. Last but not least, like and subscribe. Tom paying for all this.